Looking spree. The rest will cost ya. Information I got. But it'll cost ya. Got something on your mind? Don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals. But it's perfectly safe to breathe. Really? <laughs> what do you need? Good hunting! Take care. It's a big wasteland. But you know that better than me, right? Don't try anything. Hello there. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you for remembering. With everything that's going on, I almost forgot about it. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. Oh, okay, well, anytime you find yourself back in Megaton, be sure and look me up.
protocol initializing. Station security grid offline. Metro Central not responding. Threat level Omega. Lethal force What's up, Wastelanders? This is Three Dog Bow Wow, and you're listening to GNR. That's Galaxy News Radio, in case you forgot. News time, children. The boys and girls of the Brotherhood of Steel continue to fight the good fight, folks. They've recently stepped up patrols in the downtown D.C. ruins in response to increasing sightings of everybody's favorite freaks, the Super Mutants. Without our buddies from the Brotherhood, I'm guessing the entire Capital Wasteland would have been overrun a long time ago. So if you see a knight or a paladin out there fighting your battles for you, give them a big thanks. Even better. Thanks for listening, children. This is Three Dog, and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. We're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. Now listen close to this important public service announcement. Remember, children, when the raiders come, there ain't no shame in locking your doors, barricading the windows, and cowering under the nearest bed. When these psychos come to play, they have one thing on their minds, making your life as fucking miserable as humanly possible. Raiders can't be bargained or reasoned with. And ain't no use surrendering, because they'll just shoot you anyway. So run, hide, or fight if you've got the balls and the guns. But for God's sake, don't go waving the white flag. They'll just strangle you with it. And now, some music. And I'll move the mountains If he wants them out of the way Crazy calls me Sure I'm crazy Crazy in love I'd say I say I'll go through fire And I'll go through fire as he wants it, so it will be. Crazy calls me. Sure, I'm crazy, crazy in love, you see. Like the wind that shakes the bow, he moves me. With a smile, the difficult I'll do right now. The impossible will take a little while. I say I'll care forever, and I mean forever. If I have to hold up the sky. Crazy he calls me, sure I'm crazy, crazy in love am I. Like the wind that shakes the bow, he moves me with a smile, the difficult. I'll do right now The impossible Will take a little while I say I'll care forever And I mean forever If I have to hold up the sky Crazy he calls me Sure I'm crazy Crazy 
DNR, Three Dog, all you need to know. And here's me <laughs> with the news. For those of you not in the know, to the northwest of Megaton is this vault, Vault 101. Now, believe it or not, this one still got people living in it. And every few years or so, someone comes scrabbling out. Well, wouldn't you know it, someone's come out of it again. And, I kid you not, he came to visit yours truly right here in the studio. Now this cat, James is his name, had been in a hole for years. He needed to know what was what out here in the beautiful capital wasteland. So I, the great and powerful Three Dog, set my brother straight. I told him what was what. Well, the winners, the losers, the movers, and the shakers. So if you see James out there, you say hello. Be kind to our new brother. And show him that here on the outside, we always fight the good fight. Hey, and in case a light bulb just started glowing over your head, you can flick the switch and forget about it. You're not getting into that vault. Whoever lives in there sure as hell doesn't want what you're selling. And no, you can't knock down the door. It weighs like 13 tons. Until next time, this is Three Dog! Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. Now, some music. This is the Ink Spots with their timeless classic, I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire. <laughs> I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. In my heart, I have but one desire. That one is you, no other will do. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your admission that you feel the same, I'll have reached the goal I'm dreaming of. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. I don't want to set the world on fire, honey. I love you, too. I just want to have a great big flame. Way down inside of me, darling, I have only one desire. And that one desire is you. And I know nobody else ain't gonna do. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just wanna be the one you love. And with your admission that you feel the same, I'll have reached the goal I'm dreaming of. Believe me, I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart.
What's up, Wastelanders? This is Three Dog Bow Wow, and you're listening to GNR. That's Galaxy News Radio, in case you forgot. We interrupt our regularly scheduled program for some news. Okay. It seems the settlement of Grey Ditch has gone quiet. The residents haven't come out to trade with the caravanners, and attempts to make contact have been met with silence. So if you're out by Grey Ditch, you may want to pop in and see what's what. Until next time, this is Three Dog! Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. And now, some music. a public service announcement. Listen up, children. This stuff's important. Listen, kiddos. Never forget the importance of periodic weapon maintenance. Rifle, pistol, police baton, I don't care which. If your weapon is falling apart, the only wasteland asshole it's gonna kill is you. So be smart. Salvage those parts and make repairs whenever you can. Now, some music. It's the first lady of song herself, Miss Ella Fitzgerald, telling us that... Into each life, some rain must fall. Ain't that the truth, sister? Into each life, some rain must fall. But too much is falling in my Into each heart some tears must fall But someday the sun will shine Some folks can lose the blues in their hearts but when I think of you, another shower starts Into each life, some rain must fall But too much is falling in mine Into each life, some rain must fall but too much, too much is falling in my Into each heart some tears must fall But someday the sun will shine Some folks lose the blues in their hearts but when I think of you, another shower starts into each. We- 
each light some rain must fall but too much is falling in mind into each and every life some rain has got to fall but too much of that stuff has fallen into mine and into each heart some tears has got to fall but I know that someday that sun is bound to shine some folks can lose the blues in their heart but when I think of you another shower starts into each light some rain must fall, but too much is falling in my kids coming to your tape from my fortified bunker in the middle of a dc hellhole ain't life grand news time children not too long ago i reported that a cat recently left fault 101 his name is james good guy turns out it gets better i've got a new report here that says someone else has just climbed out of that hole what the hell is going on down there Revolution? Vacation? Somebody fart? Your guess is as good as mine, kitties. Thanks for listening, children. This is Three Dog. Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. We're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. And now, some music. <laughs> The that way. Must be a tourist. That's how we do it in the lion's pride, you fucking freak! Initiate? Shut it. You'll have your fill of death soon enough. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, brother. No offense, but I'm a little busy saving your ass right now. The Brotherhood is at your service. You don't need to worry. We're the best outfit in the whole Brotherhood of Steel. Just watch what we do to these uglies. Look, I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. The Super Mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News Radio Building, and we're headed there to back them up. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. You've been living under a rock? 
This is DC. The entire city is crawling with super mutants. Now, if you'll excuse me. There aren't a lot of safe places in the ruins right now, but the Galaxy News radio building is sort of our port in the storm. Unfortunately, the building's been hit pretty hard lately. We're their backup. So if there are no more questions, we really need to move out. The name's Sarah Lyons, Sentinel and Squad Commander of the Lyons Pride. We're with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd do our best to hold back the super mutants in this area, but when civilians stumble into our sights, that gets a bit difficult, doesn't it? That's a negative. We've got too many local conscripts as it is. Most are undertrained and too damn trigger happy for their own good. Our very own Initiate Redden is a sterling example. Watch yourself out there. Red, on me. You're doing fine. Just follow my lead. No dead heroes today, okay? What's the situation? All clear, Sentinel. Five mutants released from their torment. The rest are keeping their heads down. Good. Jennings? Negative. A new recruit? Just a stray we picked up. The one that blundered into the uglies over on 42nd. Welcome! Alright, it's the usual drill. Redden, you just do whatever Paladin Vargas says and keep your mouth shut. Yes, ma'am. Secure this building. Come with me if you like. We'll have the best view. And? little trial run come on lion's pride needs me and you know it that citadel guard duty is such bullshit yeah yeah we'll see now knock that off you're wasting ammo we're 
Ah, oh, come on. We just kicked their asses. We need to sweep the area. You think those were all the uglies in D.C.? You take the east side. I'll go west. Okay, okay. Once we're inside, then we'll celebrate. Now you're talking. It's not your fault, Vargas. Redden was good enough for the Pride, and she proved it here today. Yeah, I know. God damn it! When we get back to the Citadel, I'll talk to the scribes. Let it be chronicled that Paladin Redden passed her test. Come on. Let's see if they've got anything to drink at this time. Go away. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, the area's secure. So you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. I'll take that as a compliment. If we don't try to keep the mutants from killing everyone and everything in the Capital Wasteland, who will? The Brotherhood does its best, but sometimes it takes a little something... special. That's where the Lion's Pride comes in. Well, the Brotherhood needed a secure outpost, and the guy who runs the radio station needed to not get his head ripped off by super mutants. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Three Dog is the man in charge. He keeps that signal broadcasting pretty much single-handedly. He's, um, interesting. I'll give him that much. She died well. In the end, that's all that really matters. I'm sure. You can handle yourself, I'll give you that. But let's not get carried away. Watch yourself out there. Welcome, friend. My brothers may be gruff, but they will lay down their lives for you. Sentinel Lions calls the shots around here. If you need anything, she can probably help you. Looks like it's all clear, unlocking outer doors. That should give the boys at Lost Hills something to think about. Pleased to meet you. I'm Knight Dillon. If there's anything you need here, I'll try and help. 
You got a pip boy. Tune into Galaxy News Radio and listen. It's the only radio station in the Capital Wasteland that really tells it like it is. Three dog is right upstairs. Just stay out of our way and everything will be fine. That was a hell of a fight. Nice work. Knight Finley at your service. What can I do for you? This is Galaxy News Radio. The last free voice of the people of the Wasteland. The Brotherhood of Steel makes sure of that. Okay, just make sure not to interfere with our operations. Welcome to the GNR Garrison. Welcome to the Galaxy News Radio Outpost. I'm Sergeant Wilkes, and I'm in charge here. What brings you into the DC area? This is the last free radio station in the entire DC area. The rest of the airwaves are clotted up with enclave propaganda. I wouldn't believe a word they say anywhere else. Well, the only other station that comes through nice and clear on the radio is the enclave station. All they spew is a bunch of nonsense and propaganda. Galaxy News Radio reports on what's really happening. We have a relationship with the station here. We stay in this reinforced structure and protect it from the super mutants. This is the only real safe spot in the ruins of DC. The rest of the place is crawling with those walking abominations. It's nice to have a port in the storm, you know? Sure, good luck to you. Bring on some more super mutants. I'm not finished with them yet. Bring on some more super mutants. I'm not finished Sorry, with I'm on them guard yet. duty. Wouldn't want this place to get overrun with super mutants. Sorry, I'm on guard duty. Wouldn't want this place to get overrun with super mutants. Babysitting this place is no picnic, I can tell you that. Excellent shot, brother. I can only hope to be as good as you someday. Thanks, brother. It takes a great amount of practice and even more patience.
That was a hell of a fight. Nice work. Sentinel Lions calls the shots around here. If you need anything, she can probably help you. Good to see you. Thanks for your help. We'll take... Good to see you. Bring on some more super mutants. I'm not finished with them yet. That was a hell of a fight. Nice work. Let's see the super mutants try and take this place now. The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. And you, well, I know who you are. Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old Dan, huh? Met him already. Hey, when you're in the good fight, you gotta give it all you got and never ever hold back. Always dazzle them, I always say. Always dazzle them and spread the word. Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the capital wasteland. All that brick and rock. A whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day. Fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. They all want a slice of the pie too. And aim to take it by force. They can't, not against those kind of enemies. They just run away and hide, or they stay and die. It just ain't right. So that's where I enter the picture. I fight the good fight with GNR as my gun. The sound of truth goes out across the Capital Wasteland. Hell, someone's got to counter that bullshit on the Enclave Station. You're absolutely right. But words get more and more people to join the cause. Guns just create more casualties on your side. But enough yarn spinning. Let's figure out your place in the good fight. Then maybe we can help you. Oh, come on. You're a spitting image of the guy. He's been here before and now you're here. Doesn't take a genius to figure it out. You want to find your dad, and it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. But if you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. I have the name and the talent, but what I don't have are people to run out and do the stuff I need. Sure, the Brotherhood watches over the place, yeah, but that's all they can spare. Galaxy News needs a doer. Someone who can go out there into that wild, woolly world and get shit done. So you game? You want to find your dad. And it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. He was here with Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. Well, your dad is some sort of scientist type, some kind of egghead or something. You really think if you find him, he'd help our cause? When your dad passed through here, I spent a good long time talking to him about all kinds of stuff. 
He mentioned some scientific mumbo-jumbo, which didn't make much sense to me. Hmm. Something about a project purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City. Then he left in a hurry. You've never heard of Rivet City? Wow. Just wow. Well, a whole bunch of eggheads got together and turned a beached aircraft carrier into a town. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Just follow the river south from here. There's no way you can miss it.